hi guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel firstly i'm really grateful and thanks for all of you guys for showing so much love and support to my previous video apple interview experience and if any of you guys have not yet watched it please go and check it out it's really insightful now having said that uh, let's uh, come back to the current video so this video is about my journey of solving 800 lead code questions we'll be answering two questions here just two questions first like is it even necessary to solve uh, these many questions like 800 and second like what are the most commonly asked lead code questions in the today's job market so coming to first question is solving 800 questions even necessary and uh, my answer to this is it depends uh, I am not going to tell you that just do the 75 list, 150 list and that will be enough. And I have seen this is like the most commonly told uh, advice in YouTube and most of the internet. But the reality is for someone who is just starting off, uh, solving these 75 or 150 questions can give you a edge. It will make you aware of different patterns. But an interview is a timed game like you need to solve a question under 20 minutes because each interview round will be like for 45 minutes and you are expected to solve like at least two lead code medium to lead code hard level questions and a follow up within this time frame. So if you are someone who thinks like having just solved 75 questions, you can just go and perform under pressure and under time constraint, uh, it is not going to work out that well having said that um, there have been people who have gotten jobs in big companies by solving lesser questions like uh, 300 400 questions probably but that again depends on each individual how quick are you at grasping uh, concepts and how quick of a learner are you for a different programming language and how you handle pressure and uh, how you are able to explain your approach it depends on multiple cons uh, multiple parameters but in general if you ask me just depending on 75 or 150 questions won't really help you you might probably have to do a lot more than that and you will get to know the status where you currently lie by participating in lead code contest once you participate in a lead code contest and if you are able to solve a easy question under five minutes and a medium question under uh, 15 to 20 minutes that means you are in a very good position to give interviews and also one of the most uh, one of the other important things i have observed in this current market is most of the companies are asking lead code hard i have consistently been asked a lead code hard in most of the interviews and to be honest even today like if i have not seen a lead code hard question or if it is some it has some trick that I'm not previously familiar with solving that lead code hard under 20 minutes. It's not something I can do, especially under uh, interview time pressure. So I would suggest solving as many questions as possible based on how much time you have so that it will always definitely give you an edge. And coming to my second question, like uh, what is the most commonly asked interview questions? especially in this current 2024-2025 uh, brutal job market. So what I've seen is, as I mentioned, most of the companies are asking lead code hard, at least in one of their rounds. So this question has been dif different in different companies. For example, some of the companies have asked me like encode and decode binary, uh, binary tree. There is a question on that, which is like uh, uh, lead code hard and I've asked have been asked world ladder 2 which is a lead code hard so and so many more questions like that it has been different in different companies but for lead code medium i have seen some reputation like for example lru cash have been asked in many interviews and uh, implement dq using uh, linked list that also have been asked in many interviews so these implement like uh, lru cash or double linked i um, mean DQ using linked list, these uh, patterns I've observed in lead code medium in most of the interviews. 
and also another most common questions are these graph based problems like uh, flood fill like uh, number of islands these kinds of question also have been like have been asked number of islands so many times in many of the interviews so that is one of the other patterns that you need to be like uh, familiar with so basically linked list graphs and also like um, don't ignore any of the patterns like uh, i have been asked dp backtracking even though these are some of the advanced concepts especially in this job market they keep coming up so i would suggest not to ignore any of the pattern and there is so many uh, different patterns to focus on like trees uh, graphs tries tries also have been asked so many times basically like uh, implement a try so that question also comes up very frequently and another one more important question which keeps coming up is this rate limiter implement rate limiter they'll ask you to write code for this rate limiter and then they will go on like asking system design on like how like would you design a rate limiter so this is also like how been asked in so many interviews so yeah i would suggest uh, basically like be familiar with all the patterns don't just assume that 75 or 150 questions will be enough do as much as possible and uh, evaluate your current status using uh, lead code contest and yeah these are the contents i wanted to cover in this video and uh, if it is helpful for you guys please like comment and if you have any feedbacks just leave it in the comment section and again thank you so much uh, for watching my video